Okay, <laughs> this was another one that caught me off guard because everybody who knows me, everybody who has followed me since I got on here back in 07, knows that Victor Von Doom in comic wise, Dr. Doom is my number one favorite comic villain. Everybody knows that. He comes for everybody else. I've always loved the fact that he is not just brawn. He is brains, brawn. He is a full combination. But after the events of uh, Secret War, we saw we saw something happen to Doom. Doom was completely healed. You know, he he's you know everything. Uh, when we if you read the first few issues of Events of Iron Man. He's healed. He's he's just in a man in a suit now. He doesn't really rule over Latveria anymore, and uh, it seems like he's trying to redeem himself in some way. Uh, and he's always popping up in <laughs> with Tony, and but he's still kind of he still has his alchemy, you know, all his magic and everything like that. And he's he's he don't let the the suit and everything fool you. He's still doom. He still can get in you, and. Uh, the fact is that Doom will be taking over Iron Man 2. So there's going to be two Iron Men running around now um, with Riri Williams in Invincible Iron Man and Doctor Doom or Victor Von Doom in the infamous Iron Man, which is going to be written by Bendis and uh, Meliv. You know, the two coming back together again. Uh, I'm just hoping once again Bendis is not taking on too much, you know, because when he starts taking on too much, that's when you start to see uh, a lot of writer's block. He starts writing like maybe the same thing he wrote in another plot. Uh, I've seen that plenty of times before from him, but uh, yeah, this is this is this is not the first time we've seen a lot of this now with Marvel. Uh, Characters taking over, there are two versions of characters. Captain America, Sam and Steve are both Caps. You got basically three Spider-Men, Miles, Peter, Miles, and Miguel. Uh, you know, Miguel, yeah, Miguel. Um, well, he's back in his own time right now, but I don't know if that's going to last. You know, we, you know, Amadeus supposedly cured... Bruce, I'm not really buying that uh, for the Hulk. You know, so we got a, a couple of... Uh, we're seeing a, a lot of uh, this now. Now, they don't really go into detail of what this means. You know, why is Doom doing this? But let's think about it. Doom was already kind of Iron Man in the, in the beginning. You know, his suit was just as powerful as Tony's. And I don't see why he couldn't have done it, you know, be Iron Man as well. You know, um, you know, uh, I, I, I don't I don't think he's going to be all good. You know, I think he's going to have his own agenda. Um, the thing about it is when I looked at this, I was just like, why do I kind of get a little bit of a superior Spider-Man vibe, but maybe better? written, you know what I'm saying, and better showcased, I mean, but this is Doom we're talking about, you know, don't let that, he's got an ego, so I bet you, more importantly, he's gonna, he's gonna use this as his means of showing that I, you know, I could have been a better Iron Man than Tony Stark ever could have been, you know, and it's also gonna be interesting to see what he thinks about Riri Williams, who, actually, if you know this guy, is that RDJ, Mr. RDJ, He's loving it. He loves the idea of uh, Riri Williams taking over Iron Man. Uh, but it's going to be really interesting to see Doctor Doom take over this this uh, this mantle. And now it makes sense of why we saw Doom with that Iron Man helmet in that big, you know, divided we stand uh, plaque. You know, now it makes sense. It all comes full circle. And it's going to be interesting to see where Bendis and Malik go 
with this with this series and where they're going to take Doom and how are people going to feel about Doom in an Iron Man suit? Makes you wonder, what is his suit going to look like? You know, was it, is it going to look like a combination of his old armor with the, the cape and the hood and everything like that? If that, I'll, I'll laugh if that happens. I'll be like, okay, then you're not really Iron Man. You're just Doom with an Iron Man suit on. But uh, this looks interesting. Um, will I give this a shot? Uh, you know what? I might just, I might just do it uh, and see where this goes. You know, I'm, I'm willing to give Riri a chance. I'm, I'm damn sure willing to give Doom a chance. You know, even though he may not be a technically, I'm still thinking there's a what. He's got his own agenda. I'm just saying there's, it is. This is Doom. I wouldn't trust him as far as I can throw him. Uh, I don't buy it that he's on this road of redemption. You know, I'm, I ain't buying it. Not at all. But I'm interested. Very much. Uh, but, like I said, I'm getting a superior Spider-Man vibe, but just better. A better vibe, not a bad vibe. Uh, but we'll see what Miss, where Bendis goes with this. I'm just hoping... He's not taking on too much again. Just don't overload yourself, Mr. B. Just don't overload yourself. But other than that, you guys uh, you guys tell me, as always. I like to hear your opinion. You guys know me. I like to hear your input. Uh, what do you feel? How do you feel about this? How do you feel about Doom becoming Iron Man as well? Uh, I heard one friend give his opinion on it. And I'm, I'm not going to argue with it. You know, I'm, everybody's entitled to their opinion, respectfully, respect. Uh, so I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think, um, as always. But other than that, you guys take care. Like, take care, take care. Do you really trust Doom? Think about that. And you think about that when I beat this rap. Y'all take care.